Hello and welcome to this Monday edition of Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail in Singapore. We start with Taiwan, which is scheduled to announce key export figures today. Like many export-dependent Asian economies, it has seen a slump in shipments because of the Eurozone debt crisis and slowing global demand. And as the BBC's Cindy Su reports, this is a source of concern for President Ma Yongzhou as he seeks re-election in the island's presidential race this week. Exports, especially of high-tech gadgets, make up two-thirds of Taiwan's economy. The shipments to Europe have fallen significantly recently, and overall exports are likely to further suffer. The outlook for this year is bleak. Some economists predict Taiwan's economy will grow by less than 3%. This is especially worrying for President Ma ying who is seeking re-election on Saturday. He is urging voters to give him another term in office so that he can continue to build closer economic ties with Taiwan's biggest trade partner, China. Mr. Ma's opponent, Tsai Ing-wen, accuses him of being too close to China. She warns voters he will make Taiwan economically dependent on Beijing, which would make the island still claimed by China politically vulnerable. To add to Mr. Ma's worries, housing prices are still stubbornly high and are starting to push up rents while wages remain low. Both Mr. Ma and Ms. Tsai have promised to create jobs, raise household income, and narrow the wealth gap. They have also pledged to give more social welfare benefits to elderly people and farmers. But economists say that could increase the burden on the government and would not help the economy grow. In the long run, experts say, Taiwan's economy will have to focus less on selling products to Europe and the U.S and more on making affordable goods that appeal to consumers in emerging markets such as Latin America, Southeast Asia, as well as China. That's where economic growth is still strong. And Taiwan's next government will have to help companies here build inroads into these markets to make this crucial transition. Cindy Su, BBC News, Taipei.